I will now go through the stretches for our superficial front line and our deep front arm line inspired by my teacher Dylan Warner. Find yourself in a kneeling position with your feet flat on the floor. This might already be too much for you. If that's the case, then put some weight on your hands. We're stretching the front of the lower legs. In all the exercises, take eight deep diaphragmatic breaths. So you can be here, or you can sit up on your heels. This used to be too much for me, but then with time, this will be accessible to you too, if it's not right now. So inhaling down into the belly. And as you exhale, the belly comes back in. Take six more breaths here. If this is easy for you, then you can bring the knee up and you'll feel the stretch increasing on the right side. And then do the same for the left. The last two breaths, you can even bring your weight back and raise the knees. When you're coming out of the poses, be extra careful because that's where you might cause an injury. Next exercise, you bring your hands forward and you press the feet down and bring the knees up. This might be what it looks like. This might be what it looks like. Or you might come all the way up. Six more breaths here. Keep pointing the feet. Four more breaths. This is also a good core exercise. You will feel like you're working. So again, come out of it just as slowly as we got into it. And we'll go to modified camel pose. Come up on your knees and bring your hands to your lower back. Keep sending the sits bones down into the knees. If you need some padding for the knees, you can fold the mat and place some more Adding under the knees. And then pop the chest up, bring the shoulders down for eight breaths, eight deep diaphragmatic breaths. Keep sending the sits bones down into the knees, keep contracting the back of the legs, the glutes, the buttocks. Four more deep breaths into the chest. Bring the center of the chest up and bring the back of the chest up too. So come out of it, press the knees down, keep sending the seat bones down and come up. Come sitting on your back and point the feet. It's important to keep pointing the feet to stretch the whole front side and then place the hands to the back Fingers pointing back, and then press the chest up again. Pop up the chest for eight breaths. Keep contracting the back of the body, the upper back. Keep sending the shoulder blades down the back. Keep pointing the toes. Keep pressing all knuckles of the hands down. Two more deep breaths, deep diaphragmatic breaths. Inhale, come back up. And let's come to Sphinx Pose. Lie on your belly, place the elbows under the shoulders. 
If it's already too much, then bring the elbows further away from you. From here, it's very important to press all 10 toes down, bring navel in, and pop the chest forward for eight breaths. If you want to go deeper, you can straighten the elbows into seal pose. It's important to keep bringing the navel in and up to protect your lower back and to keep bringing the shoulder blades down to pop the chest up and bring the inner shoulder blades in and forward. Four more breaths. If you want to add more, you can bend the knees, point the toes and keep pressing the chest forward. The idea is not to bring the head to the feet. So keep pressing the chest forward, keep bending the knees, contracting the glutes. Carefully release the feet. Carefully come back to your sphinx. And then lie down for locust pose. Hands by your side, press the top of the palms down, press the pelvis down. Bring the pelvic floor up, navel in and up, and bring the chest up as you press the feet down for eight deep breaths. If you wish, you can press the legs together and bring the legs up. Keep pointing the toes, keep pressing away with the balls of the feet. Four more deep breaths. Keep pressing pelvis down. Keep pressing the hands down. And keep sending the shoulder blades down the back to pop the chest forward. Deep breathe down into the belly. Then carefully come down. And now we'll go into bow pose. If bow pose is not accessible to you, you can always use, always use a strap or you can use a t-shirt <laughs> to access the feet or you can go for locust pose once more. So bend the knees, grab the feet or use a strap or a t-shirt to access the feet. Press the pelvis down, keep sending the knees away from you and bring the chest up for eight deep breaths. Eight is too much for you, then go for less breaths. This is your practice, and with time, it will become more and more accessible. Keep sending the shoulder blades down the back to pop the chest up. Keep bringing the navel in and forward to protect your lower back. Keep sending the knees away from you, and keep kicking up through the feet. Four more deep breaths. back down. You can face the other side just for a second. And come back to Sphinx. Bring your left hand to a diagonal and grab your right foot with the right hand. This is one-legged frog pose. Keep pressing the chest forward, bringing the shoulder blades down. If you want to go deeper, you can extend the left arm to bring the shoulder blades down. And let's come to Sphinx Pose. Lie on your belly, place the elbows under the shoulders. If it's already too much, then bring the elbows further away from you. From here, it's very important and then if you want to add more, you can even go for the, for another grab. Wherever you are, keep pressing the left toes down, keep pressing the pelvis down, keep popping the chest forward. Two more deep breaths. And carefully come out of it one step at a time. 
and switch that. And get into it one step at a time and keep breathing down into your belly. In all these exercises, keep pointing the crown of the head up. And then carefully come out of it. We'll do our wing pose. Extend the right arm out. Bring the left hand next to your body. You can start with just facing the other side. And then with time, maybe you can bring the left foot to the ground. Maybe with time, you can even bring the right knee next to the left knee but you want to keep pulling forward through the left arm so that you add to the twist as we're starting to cool down Carefully again, come out of it. And let's go to the other side, extend the left arm and bring the right foot on the ground. Maybe as I said, you can keep the legs together. If this is enough of a stretch for the left shoulder for you. Find your variation. And then go for the twist. Keep pulling yourself through both arms getting deeper into the twist. Might be harder for you to breathe into the belly in the twist, but keep going for it. And all that matters is your intention and with time, you'll get to it. So keep inhaling down into the diaphragm and exhaling, bringing the navel in. Four more deep breaths, the shoulder blades down the back. Carefully come out of it. We'll finish with the wind releasing pose. Come lie on your back and we'll counter everything by bringing the knees to the chest and by pressing the lower back into the ground. Take more deep breaths here. Breathe loud, low into the belly. <laughs> relax the face. And relax the shoulder blades down the back. Three more deep breaths. Keep sending the lower back into the ground, lengthening the lower back. Keep sending the sit bones away from you. Keep pressing the knees into the chest. Relax your face and then carefully extend the legs. If you wish to keep the knees bent, you can keep the knees together. But extend the legs all the way for Shavasana. Lie down in Shavasana however long you wish. And feel the appreciation for your body, your practice, your life. Thank you for watching this video. If you're practicing along, Namaste.